over using the designs tab in KW Command. On the left hand toolbar, select designs. So you can see here are a few that I've already started working on. The type of media that you have to make through templates are emails, landing pages, social media graphics, and print. To add a new uh, template, you're gonna select the plus button on the bottom right hand of your screen. So from here, you're gonna select which one you'd like to do. Since I have an open house tomorrow, I'm going to select print and I'm gonna be making my open house flyers. Create template. So this is the really cool and great feature of the designs in command. I can put in the address of the property and find it through KWLS. So this is the property that I'm gonna be hosting open tomorrow. Christy Cook's a listing agent through Keller Williams Arlington. So you just wanna just con confirm those two things, but that is the property. How cool is that? So I'm gonna select it and it's going to ask me to choose a template. So whether I wanna do for sale door hangers, just listed postcards or open house flyers. I have options and you can go through and explore these further down here. I have two templates that I can choose from. I'm gonna choose this first one. And through KWLS, it inputs all of that information into this template. It makes your life so much easier when it comes to creating content. If you were like me, you were probably using Canva previously and having to, you know, use the templates that they had, but tweak them because they didn't really have too many real estate templates available. So this is huge. Instead of taking an hour to create an open house flyer, it now takes me about 10, 15 minutes and I am ready to go. So I'm gonna start over here to show you what the different categories that they have for you. Images, these are gonna be images that you upload. So I uploaded a few headshots uh, for myself. Company would be images that KW has for stock, professional clean crisp photos so that you could add any of these into your marketing. Text. So my library, this is coming from like the profile that I have, and it has all of uh, information about me so that I can simply click a button and put that in here. Company, banners. So how cool are these? They have the text banner already made, and then you just fill in the information that um, you need from there. Icons are going to be like um, like small icons like Facebook or Instagram, any just little icon. Logos. So I uploaded a couple of logos. And here are the KW company logos. So KW DBA would be like putting in Keller Williams Arlington right here. You can select labs logos. And then you can select just standard Keller Williams logos that aren't specific to an area. Here's where the cool part comes in. KWLS is where the photos will be pulled from the listing specifically. Again, so that you have clean, crisp photos without you having to download them. This is amazing. So I'm gonna start creating my open house flyer. What I like to do is start from top to bottom so that I don't miss any of the information in here. So first things first, I'm gonna start with replacing this KW DBA logo. I'm gonna go over here to logos and I have some options. Let's see. Because it's kind of a longer area, I think I'm gonna go with this one. So you notice I have the logo highlighted. You could tell because it has the lines around it. I'm not gonna select the logo. I'm going to click this button here, replace logo. 
and then it will literally put it in the same place. Well, that didn't work out like I had wanted it to, but that's okay. So I can make it just a little bit larger. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to use the arrows on my keyboard to put it exactly where I want it to go. Okay, that looks good. I'm gonna replace this front photo with a photo of the listing. So I'm gonna to go to KWLS and under here we have photos. So again, I'm going to click replace instead of adding it because then I gotta tell the program where to put it. So I just simply want to replace it. Okay. That's an option. Actually, this house has an amazing backyard. So let's see what some of these look like. Okay. There we go. Okay. I like that one. Now with designs, you can use the information from the MLS. It puts it in there for you and simply replace it with the information that's already put in here. This is a huge time saver. So you see listed at 210,000, this home is not listed at 210,000. So I'm going to click over here on listing details. This is information all pulled from the MLS. Puts in the address, the netris, the price, the listing date, year built, square footage, everything. So I'm going to replace, I'm gonna select the price and I'm going to find the price. And again, I'm gonna use the two arrow button to replace it. Okay, I'm going to double click to get rid of USD because people attending the open house might think I'm a little crazy. Okay, awesome. Now let's go to the address. So I'm gonna select the address and I'm going to, again, click on the two arrows to replace it and boom. Maybe center it a little bit. Awesome. Now I'm gonna replace these two images. So let's select the first. We'll go back up to photos and let's find some good photos. Replace. Okay, so we could do one of the office. We can do one of the living room. I'm gonna keep the living room, but I like this one better. Highlight those coffered ceilings. Okay, I'm gonna do the second one. Let's do the kitchen. Oh, here we go. People like large islands. So again, I can double click this and if I wanted to zoom in just a little bit and stretch this photo, I could select done and let's see what that looks like can zoom in to see the quality. Mm, the quality doesn't look that great. So I'm gonna double click at it and I'm gonna put it back to its original size and people just have to squint their eyes a little bit to look at the fabulous large island. Okay. Next up is taking the property description and adding your own into there. So I'm going to select the listing details and if I scroll all the way to the bottom, you can see this right here, it says property description and I can select replace it. Now this is a very long property um, description. So what I'm going to do is, I'm actually going to take these items out. They're already at the open house, so they already know the times of it. 
take those items out, put this down here, and that actually fits just great. Instead of come see for yourself, I'm just gonna put welcome home. I'm gonna use my arrows, move it up a little. Okay, it just didn't make sense for me to keep the date and time, they're already there. So I am going to take this guy out and replace him with moi. So I'm gonna click up to my images, my library. And the way that you add your images here would be to select my library and click add to library. Here's where you can select this arrow and then it will pull up photos on your computer and then you just go through and find them. So let's try this one out. Okay, that looks fine. So I'm going to select your real uh, your name real estate team. I'm going to click text my library and here's my name. Okay, replace text. Perfect. So again, this is just like this box up here. I can tell because it's one box and these are all individual boxes. So I can either type it all in or delete this and add any of these in here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and type it because I know that it's not a lot. AmandaKnight.kw.com. Amanda.knight at kw.com and let's do the phone number. Okay, so because that went on to two lines, I don't like that. I'm going to, if you click away, it will bring the box up to resize it. So I'm looking for the arrow that shows the horizontal arrow so that I can drag this box out. There we go, okay. So now contact me to RSVP or to schedule your private tour. How about we bold that bad boy and make it a little bit larger? Okay, that works for me. Move it over there and let's say I wanted to add my own logo in. I'm going to go to logos, my library, and we're going to resize it. It's a little big. Perfect, okay. We are in business, so you can see I have a fancy open house flyer for my open house tomorrow. And that took me about 15 minutes to create. So I'm going to select done. Save it. And look at that. 